The royal family have been going through a tough time since the death of Queen Elizabeth, but Prince Harry and Meghan Markle just might be the angriest thanks to this latest turn. The tragic passing of the 96-year-old monarch has seen her nearest and dearest reunite to mourn her, starting on the day of her death, September 8th, when her closest family members rushed to Balmoral to be by her side. That group included the now King Charles III, Prince Andrew, Duke of York, and Princess Royal, Prince Edward, Earl of Wessex, and her famously feuding grandsons, William, Prince of Wales, and Harry, Duke of Sussex. Sadly, it was reported that only Charles and Anne arrived on time to say goodbye to their beloved mother before she passed. Since Charles' ascension to the throne, William and Prince Harry have put on a relatively united front in public, following years of ongoing drama being reported between the family members. The Daily Mail published photos of the trio walking alongside their fellow family members with the Queen's coffin on September 14th, while the brothers were joined by their wives, Kate Middleton and Meghan Markle, for a walk around Windsor Castle to see the many flowers placed outside in tribute to the Queen. But while it seemed as though the warring family may have at least temporarily buried the hatchet, a new report is claiming things may not be as harmonious as they've seemed. Specifically, Harry and Meghan are said to be furious with the royal family over the titles their two children will be allowed to use during Charles' reign. Following Queen Elizabeth's death, Archie Mountbatten-Windsor has now technically become a prince, while Lilibet Diana Mountbatten-Windsor has become a princess. It's expected that their granddad, King Charles III, will officially anoint the positions to them, but it's been reported that the children will not be granted the titles of his and her royal highness, prompting an angry response from the Sussexes. A source claimed to the Sun, there have been a a lot of talks over the past week. They have been insistent that Archie and Lilibet are prince and princess. They have been relentless since the queen died. That wish, it appears, will be granted. As for why the late queen's great-grandchildren won't be granted the royal highness titles, that's reportedly because they, like their parents, are not expected to be working royals within the family. But as the Daily Beast points out, other non-working royals such as Prince Andrew's daughters Beatrice and Eugenie do have HRH titles. As royal watchers will already know, Harry and Meghan stepped down as working members of the royal family in 2020. That meant the Duke and Duchess of Sussex could no longer join in with some things reserved for working royals, one of which was evidenced on September 14 when Harry was, per Daily Mail, excluded from saluting during a coffin procession. Also not allowed to salute was Harry's uncle, Prince Andrew, Duke of York, who was stripped of his HRH title in January. Writing for the Daily Beast, royal correspondent Tom Sykes reported that under current rules, Archie and Lilibet should be entitled to HRH titles automatically. But the fact that Harry and Meghan were asked to stop using their own HRH titles and accepted the request to do so is reportedly making the matter more complicated than it otherwise would be. By allowing the children to be titled as prince and princess, King Charles' decision seems to have been made as something of a compromise. Clearly, Meghan and Harry disagree and see it as a snub. According to a source speaking to The Sun, Harry and Meghan have been left furious that Archie and Lilibet cannot take the title HRH. That is the agreement. They can be prince and princess, but not HRH because they are not working royals. Many members of the royal family saw their titles change in the wake of Queen Elizabeth's passing. Of course, Prince Charles instantly became King Charles III, while his wife, Camilla Parker Bowles, became Queen Consort. William, heir to the throne, became the new Prince of Wales, while Catherine became the Princess of Wales, while also retaining their titles as Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and Cornwall.